OnePlus 11, OnePlus 11R. OnePlus Buds Pro 2, OnePlus Buds Pro 2R. OnePlus Not Buds 2, OnePlus not buds to R. By now we all know that the R version of any OnePlus device is an affordable alternative with stripped down features. Now that was the product strategy, but how is the product itself, the not buds to R for rupees 2199? Well, I'll answer that question in this detailed review. I'm Ashad, you're watching Track and Day English, your place for incisive detailed gadget reviews. Now when I took it out of the box, the first thing that stood out to me was the subtle changes that have been made to the design. It's still a pill shaped box, but it's got a soft matte plastic finish and it features feels very good to the touch. And you know what, this black, nearly dark grey colour is a very nice aesthetic, I really like it. While the in-hand feel of the case is good, it definitely feels slightly slippery in my hands. Now as for the case, it does take a little bit of effort, but if you try it, you can actually flip it open with one thumb like this. Once open, the buds are actually not held together by really strong magnets. So if you hold it upside down and they are yanked slightly, they do fall off. Anyway, the buds themselves are also made of really nice soft touch plastic and the in-hand feel of these is definitely much better than the preceding Nord Buds too. Also, I really like the fit of these inside my ears, also mainly because of the soft touch plastic because it feels very comfortable when you're wearing them. And you know what, I've actually listened to them for 3-4 hours at a stretch, absolutely no problem whatsoever and the fit was also very snug and once you wear it, even if you're exercising, move your head around like this or you know, do any rigorous activity, it doesn't fall off, it stays fit in your ears. Talking about exercising, on the buds you also get IP55 rating, which means that you don't have to worry it getting damaged by sweat. So there's definitely sweat resistance there. Having said that, there is no IP rating for the case. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. Now to connect these buds, you get the Bluetooth 5.3 protocol with fast pairing support, but that's available only on OnePlus phones. I think it's high time that OnePlus actually gave Google fast pair support as well so that it works across all Android devices. Anyway, once connected, the Bluetooth stability is very good. Absolutely no problem there. And once connected, you can actually use the app Hey Melody on any Android device to check what all functions are there with the buds itself. And with OnePlus, phones you get all of these settings within the Bluetooth page itself. Now since these are basic buds you only get some basic features with the app. What you can see are the remaining charge in the case and of course the charge with the buds as well. And there are a few preset EQs apart from which you can also get your custom EQ tuning done with the tone curves that are available. The earbud controls can be tweaked within the app and there's also a special game mode. Now with this game mode on only on OnePlus devices the latency drops down to 94 milliseconds and you can really tell the difference in performance there's very little audio video lag when are actually playing games. Talking about the earbud controls, they're actually very well tuned on the OnePlus Buds 2R. So when you tap for any command, you get this really nice soft touch sound, which helps you identify if that tap has been registered or not. I also like the fact that there is a circular indentation on the buds themselves which lets you know if you are actually hitting the tap properly or missing out on it. Now for those wondering what are the features that are not present on these buds, firstly there's no ANC, there's also no multipoint connectivity or volume control within the buds itself. Alright, let's finally talk about the sound signature. Both these buds have 12.4mm massive drivers inside each housing and they support the SBC codec and they also operate at the frequency range of 20Hz to 20,000Hz which is the general human listening capability anyway. The sound is tuned to be extremely bass heavy. It is a proper serving of extra bass with the cherry on top bass bleed. Yes, for example, in Skrillex's new awesome banger song Xena, when that drop kicks in at about the 1.06 mark and you get that beat dropping at that moment, it sounds very unrefined and it starts properly bleeding into the low mids and generally, this is what I've noticed with extra bass, uh, you know, truly wireless earbuds, is that the treble quality is also very poor. Treble is super unrefined and there's absolutely no clarity, you, do, you cannot expect it at all over here. Any other genre apart from hard dance, EDM and bass heavy hip hop songs are not gonna sound good on the OnePlus Nord Buds 2R. So I tried listening to some melodious tracks, I tried out Un Seragagal Muda De by Pradeep Kumar and oh my god. Uh, these are torture, man. Seriously, they really don't sound good. The bass just kills every other frequency range. And these get excruciating loud, by the way. And this is coming from somebody who actually listens to audio products at really high volumes, which I shouldn't. Even I couldn't crank up the volume beyond 60%. And if you do it at a regular basis, if you listen to music at 80% or 100% on these buds, 
you are definitely bound to damage your ears also coming back to the sound signature the tonality is really bad percussions sound hollow and string instruments sound limp but there's one good thing about the sound signature and that is the sound staging which is actually very good for a pair of budget truly wireless earbuds and i was kind of surprised by it i really want to know and that's exactly what i've written in the title of this video as well i really want to know who wants this much bass you can't be just listening to one genre of music right i'm not happy with it in comparison the nord buds 2 sounds way way better and around the same price of the nord buds 2 are you also get the oppo enco buds they also sound warm and they're also bass forward but at least they sound clean and refined so if you are looking for better sound quality around the 2000 price mark i would say don't look at these there's also support for dolby atmos on these buds but come on who are we kidding dolby atmos on stereo setups generally don't sound good and on these of course you cannot really tell the spatial separation that despite the sound staging being good mind you now while the sound is not something that i am happy about the battery life reigns supreme oneplus claims that you can get eight hours on a single Single charge on both these buds which is very close to their claim and that's not too bad and on the case as well you get 36 hours of charge so which means that you can at least charge them thrice if not four times and this brings me to one point that i've generally noticed one thing where most 2000 rupee truly wireless earbuds they do not offer good sound quality but offer great battery life they have to give you something right so the buds also have two mics on each housing but you know if you're somebody who wants to take a lot of calls and if you want something cheap then please go ahead and buy a pair of wired iems with mics on them most of these truly wireless earbuds don't sound good and so does the not buds 2R. It, I mean that they don't really sound good in calls. They sound hollow and make you sound artificial. You know, with the influx of so many great sounding pair of wired IEMs in the 2000 rupee price category, it becomes very difficult for me to recommend something with subpar sound quality, whether it's wired or wireless. And that's exactly what I'm feeling with the Nord Buds 2R. Because generally when you're buying an audio product, audio quality should matter the most, right? And audio quality generally has to be decent, if not good. And the Nord Buds 2R fails in that respect for me. But if you want something just that has great battery life, then they serve the purpose. I think the Enco Buds are good alternatives in this price category but you can actually spend some more money and buy the Nord Buds 2 instead. They at least sound decent and offer good ANC quality. While the looks have been made better and the battery life is good, I still feel that the Nord Buds 2 is a better bet. Well, that was my detailed review of the Nord Buds 2R. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this product particularly. And we also have a review of the OnePlus Nord 3 already out. If you haven't watched it yet, it should pop up in a link right now. Go check it out. That, my friends, is a better product. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, Keep tracking and stay safe.